Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant answering a question submitted by a student. And the student is obviously just in the early stages of a calculus class and finding derivatives. Um, we're just going to use power rule pretty much throughout this problem. Um, we could use the division rule, the quotient rule rather, if you want to. Doesn't really matter. Let me just copy this out. F of x is equal to 6x squared plus 8x plus 6x over square root of x. Okay, so we'll just take f prime here. I'm going to just use the quotient rule here. You could rewrite this as 6x. You, well, first, you could try to simplify it, and you could argue that it simplifies to 6 square root of x. Uh, but I don't want to get myself into any mischief here, so I'm going to stay out of that. Another way to do this is you would write it as uh, 6x times x to the 1 half. And then you can use the product rule here. But I'm going to just stick with the quotient rule. So f prime of x is going to be, for this term, we're going to use the power rule. So it's 2 times 6, which is 12x. And then we'll use the power rule again. So this just becomes an 8, because it's 8 times 1 times x to the 0 power. 8 times 1 times x to the 0, which anything to the 0 power is just 1. I just want to show you the steps here so you're not confused. We're using the power rule both times. <clears throat> the, two, the 2 power 2 goes down to power 1, power 1 goes down to power 0. And for this last term, we'll use the quotient rule. So it's the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. So it's going to be 6x. And once again, power rule here, 1 half x to the negative 1 half. So it's numerator times the derivative of the denominator minus the denominator times the derivative of the numerator all over the denominator squared, which is just going to be x. So let's clean this up. So we have 12x plus 8 plus uh, we've got 3. Uh, let's just do the constant. It's going to be 3 times, I'm sorry, it's going to be 6 times to 6 times a half, which is 3, then x times x to the negative 1 half minus 6x to the positive 1 half all over x. And if we want to, we could simplify this further. 12x plus 8. Just split this up into two terms. You're going to get 3 over square root of x minus 6 over the square root of x. Say 1 half. Yeah. Oh, so that, I didn't realize that that would simplify so quickly. Okay. So we don't, we'll put these back together. So 12x plus 8 plus 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So it's negative 3 over the square root of x. And that's f prime of x. 
And now you just want f prime of 25. And for that, you're just going to plug that in. So 12 times 25 plus 8 minus 3 over 5. Isn't that nice? And you just put that in your calculator and evaluate it. So basically, you know, we use two rules for differentiation, the power rule on these two terms. And then we use the quotient rule on this term here. But we could have done other things with this term. Some people really don't like using the quotient rule. I'm perfectly comfortable with it. Um, it has a nice um, ring to it, in my opinion, denominator, derivative, numerator, minus the numerator times the derivative, denominator, all of the denominator squared. So. Uh, so I think I have this, I think I have this backwards. So denominator times the derivative, numerator, yeah. So yeah, I have my signs backwards here, I apologize. So that's a plus here, a plus here, and that's a minus here, and a plus here. So it's going to be plus here. So it's a plus here. And that's it. Okay, I hope that was helpful. See you again next time. Bye-bye.